first one up is from AP. A dangerous time. Portland, Oregon sees record homicides. What? It was nearly last call on Friday when Jacob Eli Knight Vasquez went to get a drink across the street from the tavern where he worked in northwest Portland, an area with thriving dining scene where city goers enjoy laid back eateries, international cuisines, and cozy cafes. The 34 year old had been at the pizza bar only a short time when the shot rang out. Vasquez was struck by a stray bullet and died at the scene. Very cozy. Very cozy scene, of course, at the cafes with the. Um, thank God you're sitting because most of the bullets will go over your head. I love how they set it all up. Like, this is just like, where is it all coming from? It's not that, that, the, um, that the, the city's in decay and it's a, it's a pile of shit. No, it's just horrible. His killing in late September was one of 67 homicides this year in Portland, which surpassed its previous full record, full year record of 66 in 1987. And with more than two months remaining in the year, Portland will likely shatter its previous high mark. In a metropolis racked by gang violence, fear, frustration have settled, uh, settled over Portland as stories like Vasquez's make some wary to go out at night. Unlike previous years, more bystanders are being caught in the crossfire from people mourning at vigils and sitting in cars to children playing in parks. People should be leery because this is the dangerous time, said Lionel Irving Jr., a lifelong Portland resident and a gang outreach worker. Well, horrible to hear, but it's happening in all these big cities. All these big cities, and at least they're talking about gang violence. Because it's definitely not the, the, the guns woke up one morning and they had a, uh, a chip on their shoulders. 